Hey everyone, welcome to another video with DevSpace. In this video, we are going to talk very briefly about Intersection Observer in JavaScript and specifically Intersect plugin in AlpineJS. Just look at this animation on the bottom left of the screen with the new section entering the viewpoint of this website. This section came up with an animation. Let me do it again. Refresh the page and now just look at the animation here. So we will we will learn in this video how to add this animation and with the intersection observer in AlpineJS. Let's jump to the code. So here is the code uh, for our raw and template HTML template with Tailwind CSS and AlpineJS and here is the code as you can see there is no effect on this one so we'll add the intersection observer of AlpineJS you can just visit this uh, URL and come to this intersect plugin and just read if you want to learn or read about the JavaScript so you can just check it here with the Alpine JS, you can you need this plugin to first install it. Obviously, it is not included in the Alpine, so the first way to include it in your project is via the CDN, and the second one is via the NPM. If you don't know how to install Alpine or how to configure Alpine JS with Tailwind CSS, I'll put the link in the description. But for this one, uh, let's say first we will install it via the NPM. So I just grab it from here, come to my VS Code, and you can see I have a Telpine and Telvin CSS and Alpine JS configured together. We have a package package.json file here, and all the dependencies are included inside this one. I'll open the terminal and new terminal and just uh, install the intersect plugin of Alpine JS. Okay, so after installation, you can see that the dependencies are updated and new Alpine Intersect plugin or dependencies installed successfully. Next, uh, we're coming to this one. We have to then initialize it to our bundle and then uh, run it actually. So we will import it. And after that, we have to include it. Uh, we have to call the plugin function of Alpine as well now let's do it in the source i have it here inside the inscript and here i just import it and then before the alpine setting alpine to the window i just say alpine dot plugin and inside the plugin function you just say the name of the plugin intercept so this will include it to our alpine and now we are ready to use the uh, functions and the attributes of this JS plugin to R. As you can see, here are many options intersect, enter, leave, and one half and full. All of them are included. So, very easy with this Alpine J Alpine plugin. We can just put a, um, a flag on our uh, whole section and then we can just trigger it when it enters the viewpoint so or the viewport so whenever it intersects or uh, it is coming to the viewport the plug should uh, change to another value and then based on the other value we can just uh, say it like uh, should it be shown or not like here you can say if you scroll down yeah in the viewport so this will be shown in the viewport so by using the directives of alpine and uh, putting flags on we can just uh, trigger uh, this plugin and we can use it so here coming to this one here let's say uh, when this section comes to viewport or the viewpoint of the screen so it should just uh, show before it should be hidden so coming to our design let me say first it should be hidden this section of the website let's say this uh, one app one banking should be hidden so we can just say it x show 
while we have the show equal to true so what is show show is actually a flag we have to set in our alpine directive here x in x data equal to then show equal to false show is false that's why this h1 uh, won't be showing here so as you can see it is now gone and we will trigger it whenever we have the intersection here so x intersection equal to then we will just change the value show equal to mm, let's say true save and just put, come come into this one i think this is not intersection this is intersect save it and check. yeah first it is hidden when we come to the when we bring it to the viewport it will be uh, okay now we have to add uh, like uh, some delay and some animation like uh, and let make it also as a um, alpine js directive transition x transition dot duration dot 500 millisecond so it will add a duration of 500 milliseconds to the transition okay now let's see yeah we can see so tailwind du duration is not working for this one that's why we had to add this one but the delay is working definitely the delay is working i think let's remove this all and just check it we are not into viewpoint when we come to viewpoint yeah we get the uh, transition so the same thing we will add for the for this two row for this two and for this two for this two so i just come to this one add a delay of uh, 500 let's say and a transition of the same as 500 millisecond and x show directives paste it here let's save and check again yeah okay that's it for this video about the x intersect uh, plugin of alpine js that's if you liked it uh, please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you very much